Well, I went down to Hastings Harbour just to check on water clarity uh, during the week. We're going on a little road trip in a minute for the bass, but as you can see, the mackerel we're in. What an amazing fish the mackerel is. It's like a mini tuna, isn't it? And I think it gets a bad rep, a lot of people fishing for it with strings of six feathers. I've even seen people with strings of 12 off Brighton Marina. It really is a fish to be respected, probably pound for pound the hardest fighting fish in the sea. And when you see them like this, just chasing those sand eels in and out, you've got to give them a lot of respect. And these are tiny little joeys, these ones. You can see what they've done. They've rounded up those um, little sand deals, I think they are. So they've got nowhere to go and they're just plucking them off, coming in at speed. Today's vlog's more about the bass. It's time to get in the car and head down the coast a bit and have a good old chuck of the lures. So with the water clarity, uh, it's been a bit of a mixture really. It's can silt up a little bit when we get those southwesterlies. This is an Axia, it's a Pachenko copy really, whereas a Pachenko will cost twice as much. This is about six quid. And similarly to that is this spitting wire as well. The idea of this one, another surface lure, which just kicks up a load of water really, and it's meant to represent bait fish in trouble on the surface. And what it's trying to do is just tempt a big bass to come and have a look at it. So you can stop and pause and it'll float and move it again just to try and pull those bass out. And this is part of a, I will be talking about this again in this video, but this is part of a, uh, a big guide to lures that we're going to do. I've picked the 10 of the best, polled a few people, looked back at uh, my notes for what's caught bass over the years. And I've got a 10 best have lures um, coming up in next week's video. Uh, but for now, it's always on a bass. Well, the reason we're here at this mark is that the bass will move through the gullies with an incoming tide. It works better in the beginning of the season with the peeler crabs and prawns where, where the bass are picking them out. But today we're on with the lures, um, hoping there's, there's quite a lot of bait fish in the water. It certainly was when we were back in Hastings. All the time I just sort of rock left to right, just to feel the tension on the tip of the rod. And if you do feel a snag, just waiting. Just waiting for it to float up again. Another good thing with this J13, if you look, we've got all those rocks in front of us. So I can cast over those rocks, dig down a bit, keep that. So the plug's now sort of 10 metres the other side of it. And then once you come in, just stop. And that should just lift out the other side of the rocks. And that way we can use a rod tip bring it back in over those rocks. Yeah, you know I've got a fish on because I never talk when I catch one. <laughs> Just goes silent, concentrating on it. This is the action for the zonk, it's slightly different to the other lures. And what I'm doing here is I'm just casting it short and letting it drop down. Now the, the zonk uh, goes tail first. 
so it's not a bad one to use over ledges and things that are quite close in. The only problem with this lure, it's quite easy to lose. <laughs> it goes down quite deep. Works well in oxygenated water actually, uh, just off the surf. Some handy rock pools here that lead to the open sea. It makes you think twice actually, because these are soft spider crabs. This could be something the bass are feeding on. Days more about the lures though. It really is soft. Try one of these Savage Gear sand hill things. I think they're Savage Gear. This has been in the uh, tackle box for quite a while. Just I've seen a few sand hills here. We don't normally get that many sand hills. It's certainly brought the mackerel in, but I don't know if it'll bring the bass in. Have a go. Well, unfortunately, <laughs> the best fish of the day, which came up six pound two, just about to see it. Uh, Press record on the camera, managed to take a photo of my knees, uh, pressed all the wrong buttons. Just went a little bit to pieces because I caught half decent fish. Oh, there it is. That's got to be. I was very pleased with this one. So that's the biggest one this year, just over six pounds. That's lovely, look at that. And then we just kept catching with this Komomo. This is a shallow diver. Just picked out a little reef and the school fish were pushing in. I love the initial hit there. So yeah, a, a great day unfortunately with the, the footage of the bigger fish going missing, the whole fight and everything. <laughs> ah! um, I'll try and get a decent fish on camera for you uh, next time we go out. Have you been out fishing? Are you on the lures? Do you enjoy a bit of lure fishing? Uh, I'd love to know in the comments underneath. And
Uh, remember, if you want to keep up to date with what's being caught, I try to keep an eye on what's happening up and down the coast, then um, press the bell button as well as subscribe, uh, and then you should get a message in your inbox uh, when we've released a video.